Well, well, how are you today? I've had an exhausting week, and uh, but Luna and I made it through. There's also the Pepper and then my son, who's flying around the country this next week or so, has uh, dropped his puppy dog off with us. So we have a total of three dogs, and you just saw Luna run away because there was a gunshot over that way. Somebody was firing uh, at the uh, birdies. So, but I'm out here with uh, Pepper. There's Pepper and Baloo, who's uh, my son's dog. And uh, he's over that way. He's looking at squirrels. Kind of a hunting dog, so he. Uh, chases any anything that comes in the yard he's out there chasing it well uh not too bad out right now it's 78 degrees We're supposed to have another 104 degree day but tomorrow tomorrow is only supposed to be 100 degrees and then after that less so this weekend may be the, appears to be the only weekend for a hundred degree days. No pause, no pause. I'm a little bruised from his paws because he doesn't have his nails trimmed, and he's a big, big, strong dog. He's a galute, all muscle. No fat on this boy. Well, yeah. Nothing of significance. But Baloo here is a Cataluna leopard dog. And he is the sweetest thing. Oh, he is such a loving little puppy dog. He loves people. He's so sweet. Doesn't know what to do with a puppy. He's not one of those dogs that understands how to play with puppies. Luna does a good job playing with uh, Baloo. I mean, with Pepper. But uh, peppers in blue here don't have a, a good uh, arrangement on how to play with each other. But Luna makes up for that. I thought for sure he he's such a good dog. I thought for sure he'd uh, take to playing with the puppy too, but it has not worked out. It's actually starting to hurt my uh, foot a little bit because it's got elbow right into my the bone of my foot. I'm telling you, this boy is nothing but chunk. Okay, so that's the situation here at my house. And I uh, want to talk about, um, I need to get to video editing. But before I got the video editing, I got distracted by the uh, image editing from Leonardo AI and from Midjourney. <clears throat> I've been playing them around with both of them. If you were uh, to ask me which one would you recommend I use, it would depend heavily on your ability to um, understand how to script information versus how to understand uh, user interfacing controls. Uh, the reason for that is if you look at Mid Journey, 
the mid journey interface is a very powerful interface but it's it's designed around the idea of providing script tags to get what you want so basic difference let's say you wanted to create uh, two ladies running on the beach which as i've done i actually could post up what i did if i get my video editing working <laughs> i need to i need to work on that i've been playing too much bowlers gate bulger's gate <laughs> and enjoying that immensely as opposed to getting work done on these videos but anyways <clears throat> So you go to Leonardo in OAI, and you write your prompt up about what you want them to look like. Uh, I, for instance, I had them smiling. I want them to be enjoying the run. A uh, few other characteristics of uh, what I wanted them to look like. And then I let turn it loose. And, um, that same write up, I could take it and put it into uh, a prompt for mid journey. And they would both create something that would be a little bit kind of um, a little artistic. Uh, it would definitely not look human, but it would look a little more like something an artist would create. But detailed, not a, not a um, artist style like a uh, modern or a Picasso or something like that. So, so the. Uh, Don't, no paw, no paw. The paw hurts. I'm trying to train him. He got these big ass nails on him. So anyway, um, where was I? Oh, so now let's say I wanted to make it look like a photograph, like a picture of two women. So I wanted to get rid of all the painting aspects, but I wanted to make it look like somebody had snapped a snapshot of two women running down the beach. So on, on Leonardo, they have these uh, character styles. It's a drop down and you can say realistic. And don't change your prompt. Just click realistic, click the button, and there you go. It actually looks like people, a photograph of some people running down the, the beach. Now, there's no drop down on mid journey. It's, a, it's always a script. There is no in, user interface. You basically tell it in the script what you want so i had to go look up the keywords for getting that photograph there wasn't a drop down and i go over to the keyword section and they they said add the words photographic photogenic style photogenic style when you create photogenic style it does the same thing Leonardo does. You can't, I'm not going to say one's better than produced a better image than the other because they both crazy close. And 
that's one of the key differences between the two. If I was to suggest something to someone, how that discussion, that talk, we would go is I would say something along the lines of, have you ever used a photographic tool? And if you have, have you written something, command words or program like Visual Basic or anything like that? If you have, then I probably would encourage you to use uh, MidJourney. If you had used the photographic tools, but you'd never written any programs to do stuff, then I probably would recommend Leonardo AI. Like I said, quality-wise, they are very similar. Mid-journey, if you know how to write the script, you could probably get a little more out of it. I'm, I'm going to say yes, you can. You get a little bit better images out of it if you can write the scripts. So, and I only say that not because of the quality of the image, but because of the uh, controls you have. I'll give you an example. So if you, I got two women running down the beach. <laughs> I kind of liked one of them. It was um, the, this is a mid-journey. Uh, mid-journey created one that was, uh, I want to say like 1400s, 1500s, they, uh, anyways, um, kind of a medieval view of two women. One of, them, one of them actually had a little bit of a breastplate uh, on and the other, you know, the, both of them had uh, clothing that would be more in the medieval times. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. And it, and it looked good. I mean, it didn't like, I liked it on several levels. But if I, that image, if I wanted to create more to it, pull it out some. So Mid Journey allows you to uh, zoom out and move make more to the left to the right up down you can you can fill out your image and leonardo does the same thing they have a canvas operation now mid journey theirs is a little bit more uh controlled right there while you're at the image leonardo you go pull the image into your account assets then you bring it in then you can do that filling out that i just talked about both of them work very well uh leonardo i like a little bit more for usability but you know that's not fair um i, I think i'm just a little more used to it because here's the thing is The mid journey one allows you to do it almost immediately right there. So you have the images that you upscaled and you want to work on. It will do a these changes to you while you're in the moment. While you're looking at it and thinking about it. Leonardo makes you kind of pop out, go back over, do some stuff. So there's not, there's, they both have um, their pros and cons to it. So even though I said Leonardo a little more, that's, that's not really accurate. It really depends on you, again, you know, being in the moment. Uh, again, it's a little bit more, the controls are a little more uh, application style in Leonardo and a little more uh, uh, command driven in uh, mid journey. 
Now, it's going to be interesting because Midjourney has uh, one advantage over Leonardo. Leonardo has done really good at giving some capabilities. It's astounding what they've been able to do. Now, uh, Midjourney, same thing. They've been amazing. But they seem to be uh, allowing for a little bit more uh, integration of other stuff to give you functionality. I give you an example. You can, my wife, I could pick her face and put it onto an image very easily in Midjourney. But the people that provided that uh, plugin, I'll say, they say you can have so many free, and after that, we want you to pay for it. So there's like these add-on plugins that cost either time to understand or integration, but then they they're it's harder to do it in Leonardo. You see what I mean? It's kind of like oh, what's what to do, what to do, what to do. All right. So my puppy dogs, Baloo, as you can tell, is like. Dad, let's go inside. That puppy is coming at me and I'm scared. Puppy does freak him out. Puppy couldn't hurt him if he wanted to. He's a big galoot. He's a sweet boy. Yes, he is. He had a good breakfast this morning, didn't you? Yes. All right. I'm going to head in now. Ow! Uh, dude, the head is sweet. Puppy, puppy paws can get really hard. All right, let me get up. Up, up, up. Ugh. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.